Happy December 16th. Nope, 17th. <laughs> Guys, today I thought I would do a little fun thing. Um, I literally haven't like door dashed in a hot minute. Like I think like in a month. Um, just because I've been so busy with like the end of the semester and everything. And I just really wasn't doing much door dash. But now that it's the holidays, I have a little extra motivation to work. And also I've been getting all these bonuses because I've been like gone for a while and they like are like, come back. We'll give you this bonus. And so <laughs> Here I am. So today I wanted to vlog and see how much money we can make today. I'm only going out for four hours, I think. It's only a four hour shift. Um, usually around the holidays, you can get like pretty much either way. Either people are like together and eating like meals and stuff because the people are usually off during the holidays. Not everyone, a lot of people are though. Um, or we get like, tons of people who are like stuck at work and grumpy and they don't feel like doing anything so and it's like snowed in and they want to want to get go go get groceries so they just order food it's not snowing but we never know what the future may hold so i also do shift which is like online grocery because they gave me a really good bonus like if i do five orders in the next like three days or something like that i get fifty dollars and then if i do 10 orders up until i think the 22nd then I get $150, like on top of like what I make. So that's like $200 if I get 10 orders, um, technically. So I would really like to do that because I counted out the rest of the stuff I need to pay for for Christmas and it's around $260. So I would really appreciate it. Oh wait, is this like, okay, they don't have a, I don't know what this bus is doing. I'm just gonna go around it. Anyways, I know you guys aren't interested in what I'm saying right now. So I will vlog when I get to the city I'm door dashing at and we can discuss everything then okay guys hey so um again uh just typical ally being the worst youtuber out there it's december 22nd so that's that there was weird stuff i swear there's always something and it's just not the same like you go out there and you see all these youtubers who just can stick to vlogmas and i have just decided i'm not one of those people that can do that so I'm tr gonna try not to promise I'm gonna do Vlogmas every single day for the rest of my life. Um, but I do promise to still do Vlogmas, just it's not gonna be every day because things happen. Oh my gosh, bro. As I was recording that, I found a ring that I lost like exactly like a freaking year ago. Bro, it's my promise ring. Not promise ring, purity ring. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for that for so long and it was just right there and I literally told Kylie to get me another one for Christmas. Well, I should probably tell her not to, but if she already bought one, then that's okay. I'll have two or something in case I lose one again, which maybe might be good because I always lose rings. Anyways, so today's December 22nd. Right now it's like 10 something, maybe 11, 10.52 and I'm currently downstairs in my basement wrapping gifts um i wrapped a whole ton yesterday i still have like half left but the other half is like stuff that hasn't come in yet um but a couple things came in today so i actually bought this isn't going up until after christmas because i have so much editing to do today um so i wanted to show you guys i bought these sweatshirts for my friends and i so like my group my friend group whatever from not school but just like my friend group outside of school um We've made videos together before. Um, it'll be in one of these corners. <laughs> um, we call ourselves, like, we. I randomly just called ourselves the Twinkies one day. Don't ask me why. We don't even like Twinkies. Like, I literally don't know why that came to be. But I made these little custom sweatshirts for us. This is the Twinkie University. And they're, like, little cream. See it? Oh, my gosh. They're so cute. So I got one for all of us, and I'm wearing one, too. So I thought that'd be, like, a fun gift because we all love sweatshirts and I was like this is so cute and it's something that like it isn't embarrassing like you don't have to like wear like our faces like I wasn't gonna do like a picture of all of us on sweatshirts because then you like wouldn't wear that anywhere um but this is just like so subtle and yeah I thought it was so cool like such a cool idea so I was like let me just do that basically I'm wrapping gifts right now I don't really know what the schedule is for today I don't know if this is gonna be a combined vlog with like tomorrow or something um but I have literally been working my little batushki off um I've been working a lot. I actually, like, 
I'm actually really proud of myself. I'm gonna show you guys my earnings from the past four days. So, this was my earnings for two days. This is for the 18th and the 19th. Is three, whoa, three hundred dollars. And then for Monday, Tuesday, and then I did one order this morning. I've made that much. So that's been nice because this Christmas is so expensive. I just spent so much money. Like I literally just dropped three hundred dollars yesterday. I dropped seventy eight this morning, and I have to go out and buy another gift later. So. Um, money's just going bye-bye. I also have to buy a parking pass and my rent is due <laughs> really soon. So I'm just like, I made all that money, which is fantastic, but I'm basically just gonna lose all of it again really fast, but I'm glad that I at least made something. So that's a plus. Um, I'm planning on working later today as well, but okay, you guys aren't interested in anything I'm saying right now. So I'm gonna just wrap these gifts and I'll do a little transition when I'm done. <laughs> Here they are, wrapped the rest of the gifts that I have to wrap today. Um, and then I got a little bag over there because the gift that I had to wrap doesn't quite wrap. <laughs> so I had to put it in a bag. But top three are for my friends and bottom one's for my dad and it's literally so heavy. So please pray I can carry it upstairs. But I thought maybe you guys would want your little daily dose of the cutest little Munchkins! Munchkins, hi! Oh my Tilly, what are you doing? Luna's busy eating some hay that we left on the ground. Look at how cute. Oh, hello, Luna. Hello, babe. Tilly just loves all the camera. Like, she just, she's like, where am I now? I'm hiding. Wounds, wounds. Wound, wound, come here, look. Look, a camera. Tilly's, Tilly's literally right here. She's like, yo, I got it. Girl, you have to let Luna come share the spotlight. Well, okay. She's... <sighs> Luna's a little more shy. She's a little shy girl. She's a shy girl. Tilly's outgoing. You're outgoing, babe. Luna's look at Tilly's stop. <laughs> Love it? They're following the music. Luna takes a little longer, but she, she comes too. Fun story about Luna, guys. So, Luna's my little baby girl. Um, as you can see, she kind of runs away a lot. I let her sniff my hands quite a bit. Oh, wow. She's staying by me. Okay, watch what happens when I go to pet her. Let's see. Hey, pet you? She doesn't want to be bad. Um, so, where we got her from, she was a little, tiny, scrawny girl. And she was born in August. Um, they, She was, like, abused. She wasn't fed properly. Um, she didn't get enough diet. She literally was, like, so, so, so small and skinny and literally just skin and bone. Now she's a bigger girl now. Um, but she was really tiny. Yeah, she didn't get enough food. And she's really, really scared of people. Um... Like, when we first got her, she went and hid in that, like, back corner in that little box the whole time. Um, because she didn't want anyone to see her, touch her, or anything. Um, because she was abused at the place that we got her from. Um, there was, like, a ton of bunnies at the place we got her from. And the person was, like, nice. But I just think they were, like, neglectful because they had so many animals to take care of that they didn't really get to, like, take care of one-on-one. -on -one. And so Luna was really abused. Um, so she's scared. She's really scared. Tilly's out back there just shredding a box, so she's just having fun. Um, Luna's really scared of people, and, um, she doesn't really like being touched yet because she doesn't trust anyone yet, uh, which is understandable, so you just have to be really slow with her. Um, she used to kind of, like, snuggle with me at first, but I think she was so afraid that she just, like, didn't really want to even move. Um, but now she's like, okay, okay, like, I'm just like, if they try to bother me or try to like pet me or something, like I'll run the other way. She's getting, she's getting better. Um, she's still a happy girl and she loves Tilly. Like her and Tilly get along really well. So she's doing good. She's just not great with like the human part yet, but she's getting there. All right, guys, it's later. Um, kinda. Well, actually, yes, a lot later. Oh shoot, sorry, this is, this is a little too loud. I'm home for right now. Um, okay, 
it's still, I'm watching Corey Kenshin, guys, and if you don't know who he is, he's really funny, but the volume's a little too loud right now. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna, let's just pause it, let's just pause it, because I don't want to miss out on Corey Kenshin. Uh, I'm laying down because I'm really uh, exhausted, so I was just working, I told myself, I was like, I'm only gonna work tonight, I'm gonna work after 4 o'clock, um, I ended up going out like early, early this morning to do a little bit of work. Came home, wrapped gifts. You guys saw that whole fiasco. Um, and then I was like, yeah, I could do a few more. Like, let's go get, let's go grab like these two orders. And there was a really big order, and it was like 21 to 28 dollars for like the pay. So um, I was like, oh wow, like this will only probably take me like 30 minutes. Like that'll be really nice and easy, and then I'll go drop it off. I like somehow like didn't deliver like three of her bags but they were not in my car and I'm literally so lost the only thing I can think of that I missed out on is like maybe when I was loading them I left I because I set some on the like little like I don't even know what you call it like the little like conveyor belt aisle thing for like checking out at the cashier I set a couple bags up there and I'm like did I just like not grab those ones but I was like that's so hard to miss like they're right there, but that's the only thing I can think of. And she was like, you missed some of my items. And she was like, she's like, actually a lot of them are missing. And I was like, oh my gosh. And it's not part of my job to go back and shop them. You're just supposed to get refunded. Um, like the person would get refunded, but I literally felt so bad. And her order was like $375. And I know I shouldn't think this way, but I was literally like, um, like, <clears throat> 20% of that is like $75, like something like close to that. It's like rounded up like $75 and like normally people tip 70 or 20%, sometimes 10, but even if she tipped me 10, that's still like $38 or something like that. And I was like, that's a good tip. So I was like, I am not just being like, you could just refund it because I'm not going to get tipped. So I went back to the store and did all of them. I did, I did all the rest of the shopping, like... I got all the missing items, and then I accidentally grabbed two of something, so then I shop, I freaking shoplifted one, and so I kept it. It was a freaking like Kinder Egg, and so I ate it. <laughs> Guys, I'm awful. I was like, oh, I thought this said two, but I guess not, and so I ended up grabbing two, but it was only one. Then I ate the Kinder Egg because I'm so hungry, <laughs> and I brought it back to her house, and she hasn't tipped me, so... Um, I just wasn't, <laughs> there's like things that like you should be like, oh, I'll do this out of the kindness of my heart. But I really wasn't, I was just like, I really want tipped because this is like a good order to get tipped for. And I was like, ooh, maybe if I like offer to go back and grab the items. She didn't even say thank you though. She was just like, yeah, I'm missing a lot. And I was like, okay, like I get it, it's my fault. I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't know what else to do, but just go back and help you and like go get the rest of your items so I went back and shopped it even though I don't think you're supposed to do that in my job but I just like I did feel really bad I was really anxious but I was just like okay 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 and I like went and shopped the rest of her items and brought them back and she didn't tip me but what are you gonna do about it it's fine um but anyway I keep getting orders like seeing orders pop up and I keep wanting to go grab them but I like just like over exhausted myself and I already have an order for seven o'clock and it's taking everything in me not to grab any of these orders because I'm like money hungry right now just because of Christmas and like everything and um yeah this is just like interesting and I just have to be more careful I guess so that was my story thanks for listening if you did um I have to clean the chillaxing rooms after this I'm gonna watch this Corey Corey's video and then go clean the chillaxing room because it won't take me long um and then I'm gonna go back out and do this last order. So that's my plan. I really hope that that lady tips me um, because I just really try my best. <sighs> Please pray that she does or pray something good happens because I'm really busting my booty over here and I'm so exhausted. And like my skin is like, you see how red it is? That's from freaking like frostbite because it's so cold out. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I'm so happy. It's just a day.